learning new things is the key to becoming successful at something and beat making is no difference. It's important to learn your DAW inside out if you want to reach your full creative potential. Of course, this can be overwhelming and you will feel less motivated. You stop searching for new things and you stick to your old habits. That won't get you anywhere, which is why I'm here to pull you out. I don't know what that was. I created this super simple piano melody and I want to add some automation effects on top of it. For example, a custom wobble effect. This can be created by adding an EQ to the piano, then create a curve like this and right click the frequency control. Choose create automation clip. Now make a shape like this and then the EQ will be automated. This is really cool, but there's another way you can do this which is so much better. In fact, stop using automation clips for this. Head over to the mixer and find Patcher. If you can't find it, click more plugins. Find it in here and click the star icon. Now you will always find it in the top list. Right click in Patcher and add the equalizer. Everything we do in here will be sent to FL Studio, basically the plugin in here. Right click again and find the Fruity P controller. This is gonna replace the automation clip. Right click it and select outputs, then controllers and choose LFO. This will create a connector that we can use to send the P controller to the EQ. Double click the equalizer and create a low pass band. Right click the frequency controller and choose activate. Now another red connector will appear here. Connect both the effects to each other. Now open up the Fruity P controller. Turn the LFO bass level all the way to 100%. Then turn down the volume knob. The more you turn it down, the more frequencies will be cut out as you can see here. Decrease the speed to make the sine waves shorter. This will make the wobble effect go faster. You can also mess around with the shape, but a sine wave works best. Sounds cool. Now we want to save this so we can use this on future beats. Open up the menu and choose save preset as. Let's call it wobbler or something. Then all you need to do is go to the preset folder and open it up. You can do this so much faster if you just learned these shortcuts. Subscribe. Gotta go now.